I was uh, uh, lost, I was uh, depressed, I've lost myself, I've, I was uh, uh, suffering with loads of anxiety, also my health was not great, I was constantly like getting sick, because obviously it was like the byproduct of my, my subconscious mind. I feel that I found joy again, uh, joy for life, and I feel I found love for myself again. I came here 100% to lose weight, <laughs> just to be honest. I don't love that, but that's the honest truth. Um, I did not lose one pound, and I am totally, totally okay with that. And no one is more shocked by that truth than me. Um, so really just realizing that how deeply I was isolating for so long. And I have so many people that really love me and were constantly trying to do things. And it really, I didn't realize how often I was saying no. So for me saying yes, regardless of how I was feeling about myself um, that day or that night has been so huge. I mean, I may not have gone to Paris last year in the similar position. And then we just had this awesome vacation in New York City for five days and I felt good. And that's, I, I, I don't even have words to describe that. Um, and it's just brought me so much joy and I feel like I'm kinder, I'm a better person. I also cleared like 98% of my personal debt. I lost myself after having my son. I fell into a, a, a sort of a downhill spiral. I went through a lot of stuff with my husband and I think the biggest thing was that I had so much, so much pent up anger. I don't know if anyone remembers, but that first exercise, the fears one, I was, I think I had 17 pages that I literally wrote of like my anger and my fears. Mm -hmm. And I literally had to like change pens. And I, I, I was looking back at my goals and I have let go of every part of that anger. I have had the best relationship with my husband, but even better, the best relationship with myself, well, better than I've ever had. I'm really committed to doing the self-work and, you know, just being there for myself. And for the longest time, I feel like I haven't been really connected to myself. And, you know, four months down the line, I really do feel like I'm back to myself. I'm back to my inner child. I'm, you know, taking care of myself. And I'm, you know, I'm just... I'm my own best friend, if that makes sense. Mainly, I wanted to increase my spiritual sort of well-being, but little did I know that it starts from within. So I feel like now I'm a little step closer to sort of realizing that it's just not a spiritual upbringing and me a separate. That's just one body and one woman. And I'm trying learning every day how to become better at it. So, you know, the concept of when you thought you will not get there or it's just it was so hard in the beginning I was fighting it but now I literally if you ask me to picture anything that I thought previously was impossible I'm like yeah I can totally do it so it's also perception of what I can do change significantly for me than previously which is big because I can finally I can feel that I can dream versus just sort of well yeah that's what you're supposed to do now it's like wow amazing for me my goals were really really specific like I wanted to lose 30 pounds and I wanted to get out of debt and then coming into it and when I was doing my reflections I realized that that might be like an onset goal within my bigger goal and my bigger goals were really more to um, fall in love with my best self and just to establish healthy habits around food and money you know, I, I don't restrict myself for um, certain foods because I shouldn't have them. Um, I enjoy them and um, I've stopped sort of binge eating and, and drinking and, and shopping, um, which is ways and coping mechanisms that I would have had prior to the program. I paid off a lot more of my debt. I've saved money um, because I'm not spending on useless stuff anymore. And I also have a different mindset around stuff and using it as my investment. So when I look at something with the huge price tag for a house, I'm like, well, this is investment for me. This is not going into useless debt. This is amazing debt. I came here to kind of get a better sense of myself. Um, I knew I wasn't making myself a priority and wanted to figure out how to do that. Um, now I realize that putting myself first isn't selfish, it's necessary. Um, and I think that's been the biggest shift of knowing that, you know, focusing on yourself is something that's 100% needed for everyone.